This is every MLB mascot ranked worst to best by Joe Samuels, who has less than 2K subs, but 372K K views. 372,000 people have agreed with Joe Samuels here, but they did not subscribe, but I'm different. Who do you think is the best MLB mascot? I don't know him, bro. That's the thing. That's why we got to see. It's probably going to be this guy because he's the most famous. I don't know. 3K people agreed. 300. Wait a minute. I didn't look at the like ratio. Uh-oh. Everybody loves them. Some even say that they're the best part of baseball. <laughs> well, at least I'm sure somebody said that at one point. Okay. Anyways, here's my opinion of all the MLB mascots ranked from least to best. Unbiased opinion. Who's a Nationals fan? That's weird. He's really into baseball and the Nationals, but I'm interested to see what he thinks about the Angels mascot. The Angels with rally monkey. Yes, he's a real <laughs> monkey, but he's not even the official mascot. Oh. And he doesn't go on the field. He's oh. just shown on the jumbo screen sometimes when the Angels are losing to give them good luck. Why a monkey, though? That's why he's last on my list. But still, it is impressive they got a baseball uniform on a monkey. Yeah, I feel like he would fight that. That's a pretty good one. I don't think that should be last. Number 29 is the Dodgers because they have another unofficial mascot. <laughs> he actually doesn't even have a name, and he's just a guy in a Dodgers uniform. Oh. Actually, I'm sorry. He's not considered a mascot. He's considered a unique performance character. Yeah, totally oh, not a mascot. okay. Los Angeles wants a mascot so bad that one time a guy dressed up as a bear jumped on top of the dugout, started dancing. I and heard about that. Got arrested. I did hear about that. He looks like Ted. That's Ted. <laughs> That's literally just Ted. How did he get up there? Number 28 is the New York Yankees. They're this is literally a child. I like it. He's pretty cool, man. He's pretty. I like him. Their mascot isn't around anymore, and there are barely That's any That's a bowling pin. His name is Dandy. Get it? Like Yankee Doodle Dandy? I didn't come up with that joke, okay? He also has a mustache, which makes no sense. This kid's funny, bro. This kid's got... You guys are hating on this kid. He's funny. This kid got some comedic timing. You hear that rim shot? And it turns out that he's actually supposed to be a bird. I give up. <laughs> Number 20... This kid's funny, bro. He got jokes, yeah. Mr. Mid is very popular. I and do in know most him. Other rankings, he Love the mess. The top. Yeah, he got and a big I'm not baseball sure why, head. Though. Yeah, he's yeah, just yeah. a baseball head. He's not funny. And yep. he came up with the same idea many mascots came up with. Now, whether he came up with that before the other mascots, I'm too lazy to check. Mm -hmm. But they're not that good ideas. No, and there's I also like... Mrs. Met, which is another oh. baseball head that's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I like Mrs. Met. I'm glad that he has a life partner. Oh, so Mets fans are going to say that I put Mr. Met on the bottom because I hate the Mets. Well, right now they're doing so terrible that you don't hate the Mets. You just feel bad for them. Yo! Mets fans blown yeah. the fuck out. Mets fans got blown up. Destroyed! Mets fans, how will you ever recover? Oh, dude, three years ago, and they're still thinking about this one. And moving past the fact that I hate the Orioles with every fiber of my being, their mascot is an Oriole. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, uh. it makes sense. It would be weird if it was something else. And yeah. it's the only mascot that's head is the official logo. But its name is the Oriole Bird. Cool! With such an uncreative mascot, at least come up with a creative name. It should be something like... <laughs> well, I'm not the one whose job it is to come up with names for the Orioles mascot. He couldn't think of one. He could they put in the crickets. He couldn't think of one. He had all that time and he could and it's and he said he's pretty Whoever's funny. This kid got though, jokes. Hired he's pretty good. You guys get it, right? You get it. I he, you know I bet his dad loves the Nationals. He made this video for his dad who loves the Nationals. Is number 1 going to be the Nationals? I bet it is. So anyways, wait. What does that flag say? Orioles Division Champions? How old is that photo? Number 25 is the... <laughs> he just blew up the Orioles and then moved on to the next one. This kid's funny, dude. This dude's based as hell. Captain Ranger. Oh, that's a horse. Is that a horse? Looks like a camel to me. What? It's Ranger's captain? <laughs> Looking the wrong way. Okay, anyways, he's a... Uh, I love him. Horse. Yeah, he is. Okay, I'm done. Let's move on. All Number right, 24 next. is the Cardinals with Fredbird. <laughs> 
<laughs> so his, and his name's Fred, and he's a bird, and yeah, yeah. his name's Fred. Can I see Fred Bird again? Uh, that's all I got. There's nothing else about this mascot. Can you show me Fred Bird? Oh my god, look at that face. Oh, it's a cardinal. Okay. Also have Rally Squirrel, which is pretty much just if a squirrel runs onto the field, you go, ooh, rally time. You know people are smuggling them into the ballpark. Other teams stole that what? idea too. The Tigers have Rally Goose, the Royals have Rally Cat, and the Nats have Rally Pigeon. Is this real? Does anybody like baseball here? Or is this, do they do that? I don't think Cat is the best one. Do cat the Tigers be... have Rally Goose? It's easy to catch a goose. The Royals have Rally Cat. It's very hard to catch a cat. I think a goose would be very easy to catch. A cat is impossible. What do you do? You just have to keep playing. What should the Orioles have? Like, rally Bigfoot? There they when go. Bigfoot walks onto the field, then the Orioles will start doing well. Number 23. This kid always talking shit, bro. I'm kind of sick of this, man. He's still coming at the Orioles. Get out. Stop, bro. First of all, his Aww. costume isn't very elaborate. It's as if they were... That's a cute tiger. Like, we I need like a mascot, him. so they ran to the thrift store and bought a tiger costume. He does have a very active Twitter account, though tweets out about every single day but this guy gets paid to dress up as a tiger sit in an air-conditioned room and tweet I, I want your job I'm just kidding the things he tweets out are actually pretty funny but he should spend a little more of his time being funny on the field that's one of the things mascots kind of have to do as he's right yeah that's a good critique I think maybe you should get off Twitter get off that phone and maybe get on the field a little bit this kid just hates mascots. No, no, we're in the bottom. We're in the bottom part, okay? We're in the bottom ten right now. He's gonna love the ones coming up. Their mascot's name is Ace, and at first you're like, oh, is this a Canadian accent? Is this what I sound like? Oh, he looks cool, but then things about him don't make any sense. Like, what are those pants? Last I checked, Blue Jays do not wear ripped pants. So true. <laughs> And you would think the logo would look a little bit like the mascot's head. No, kinda, they look nothing alike. No, it kind of does. I think you're I think you're hating on this one. Anyways, his name is Ace because it's like Ace Pitcher and there's gambling down there. But it really <laughs> is sad when you think about how many people what? are losing their money over there <laughs> when they bet on their team. Another shot, bro. This guy is killing all these teams. Wait till he gets to the Nationals, bro. He's gonna gas them up like crazy. Clark the Cub. Ew. Here's a little song I made up. Stop, Cub, stop. Stop, Cub, stop. So if you don't already know, I hate the Cubs. This kid hates a lot of teams. I can understand Baltimore because it's like Baltimore Nationals, right? They're right next to each other, but this kid's mad. Dude just hates baseball. They don't got the power. They don't got the speed. Is this like a parody song? They're gonna be the worst he... in the National League. Oh, he <laughs> rhymed it. That's pretty good. <laughs> this kid would get punched if he went to Chicago. <laughs> just imagine him in the Nationals outfit, and he's in Chicago in the stands doing this shit. He would get rushed. Number 20 is the okay. Royals with Slugger. <laughs> I think he spelled it wrong. Compared to some of these mascots, that's a hilarious pun. Is that... Oh, it's like a tire slugger. Great. It's like that because he's a lion. Why he got a. He's like deformed though. Yeah, he looks like a Pokemon. Yeah. Is it funny at all? And Slugger's costume is lame. It just has a head and arms. All Slugger really does is wave the flag when the Royals win. I can't wait for him to say who's funny because he keeps saying all these mascots aren't funny. So what is his like? Where's the bar, right? Although there is one thing about is he gonna Slugger love? that I think is cool: how the crown is built into its head. I don't like that. We've got your bases covered in cheese. Royals blue cheese slides down your throat. What the heck? This is weird. I want my money back. Actually, no. That's kind of cool. I also have Honus Wagner, the one that cost uh, $3 million. I'm just kidding. It's not real. I don't want people breaking into my house for this. Oh, I believed him for a second. I was going to go rush his house. Number 19 is the Marlins with Billy the Marlin. That's a fat fish. Before Derek Jeter, after Derek Jeter. Before Derek Jeter, after Derek Jeter. Uh -huh. Before Derek Jeter, after Derek Jeter. Okay, so you guys can't get the full experience, but Derek's eyes keep shifting here. <laughs> Before Derek Jeter, after Derek Jeter. <laughs> Before Derek Jeter, after Derek Jeter. We had to manually place that in Movie Maker. Like we didn't have a layer here. We just had to. Before Derek Jeter, after Derek Jeter. And then the eyes just gone. Okay. 
again, I think this kid's dad hates Derek Jeter. This feels like it's uh, it's it's some family influence here. I kind of love this video. Me too, unironically. This feels like old YouTube, right? Like, new YouTube is just some asshole making a video essay on a super niche topic, and it's like 40 minutes long, and it has like stock footage and Adobe uh, After Effects things that you could just download for free. This is just some kid making some shit post thing that he thought would be funny on a weekend. <laughs> I, I, I love this shit. That's great. He's a bear because I guess there are bears in Minnesota. Is that true? I guess they're half. Oh, yeah, that's stupid. But they're both not that good ideas. I could think of no. a million better ideas for the twins mascot than like a what? bear called TC Bear. Like what? Like maybe you could have a twin or something. <laughs> What's a Minnesota animal? I don't think Minnesota has culture. I don't think of anything when I think of Minnesota. I think of snow. A polar bear? They don't have those. Damn, that's pretty good. That. I'll put him a little bit higher. Moves you up in my list. <laughs> oh my god, he's me. Is it, did I make this video? Did I get MK Ultra? I think I might be this kid. This it might be me. Number 17 is the San Francisco Giants with Lou Seal. Aww. It makes sense that it's a seal because it's in San Francisco. Yeah, and it's a pretty big there. mascot because they're the Giants. But he doesn't really try to be funny, and he's a little strange. <laughs> I love that every single time he's like, this mascot doesn't even try to be funny. Is that true? I feel like they do. That's like all what they do. Like, for example, is it a boy named Lou Seal or is it a girl named Lou Seal? Like, ah! I mean, he's okay. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, but to be honest, I miss the crab. Number 16 is the Chicago... <laughs> I actually love him. This is awesome. This kid is great. His name is Southpaw because it's like the south side of Chicago, but I have no clue what he's supposed to be. Is he like a monster like an alligator? or an no. alligator? Oh my god. I'm kind That's of... like, an, like a pollinated alligator. That's what I I'm thought. An alien, maybe? Which is why I'm putting it right in the middle. Uh. Speaking of the white socks, you would think that they'd actually wear white socks. They don't! They wear black socks! Things like this drive me crazy! The falling chair bit again. We're doing the falling chair bit again. It was really funny. That's really good. Yeah. Did it twice. Yeah. I hope he keeps doing it. I hope every single one from here on has a falling chair bit for the next, like, 15. Yay! That's good. This is great. Okay. 15 is the Padres with the swinging fryer. Huh? They should have kept the chicken, though. The chicken was a much more funny mascot. If they kept the chicken, know, they'd be higher funny. on my list. But I've got like to admit, both. the swinging fryer is pretty cool, too. Uh, I don't like him. I don't like human mascots, I think. I know he's stupid, but my brain is, like, assessing for a threat. Is that a person, that bit? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a costume. It's like the singing fryer, but the swinging fryer. Never heard of singing unique. fryer. It's a different look than most mascots have. He's funny and funny looking. Stop saying that. Number 14 is the Mariners with Mariner Moose. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the, we probably see this on a different stream, but that's still funny to me. He's a moose because there are uh, mooses in Seattle. I guess, yeah. But I like how the Mariners mascot is a moose. It has a big furry head and it's a little bit funny. And a little bit funny is better than most mascots. I agree, it's pretty funny. He I like did pull that. another Oriole bird with the name, though. My gosh, whoever's job it was who came up with that net. Wait, it's hair to use that joke. Number 13 is the Indian. See, he's aware. He knows. Slider. He's a pink monster, in case uh -oh. you're blind and you can't tell. They really couldn't. They, they, they really just wanted to get as far away from people as they could, huh? So is it like Slider, like the pitch? Or is he a slider? Gotta uh, stop on so that rim shot. Funny. We gotta Anyways, stop on that. I want to hate this mascot, but there's nothing bad I can say about it. Nothing? Number 12 is the Athletics with Stomper. Aww. First of all, not the Athletic, Athletics though. is like the dumbest name for a team ever. Yeah, it's a and bad name. And second of all, why is their mascot an elephant? But I like Stomper. He's funny. And I mean, I don't not like Stomper. I think it rules that he just says if a character is funny or not. Like, he's just like, yeah, this <laughs> this mascot is funny. This mascot is not funny. He does not elaborate. He just tells you how it is. Number 11 is the Rockies with Dinger. He's a purple triceratops because they found lots Aww. of dinosaur fossils near there. And I just like this mascot. Why? I like it. 
because I just do. I think no. it's cute. I like that one too. Number 10 is the Diamondbacks. First, they've got Baxter the Bobcat. Don't like that. I don't like that I can't see his eyes. That's a little creepy, dude. I don't know what he's thinking. Well, he's got hollowed out eyes. I don't like that. But I think he's cool, and he does actually so. do funny stuff. He's not Not cool every funny. mascot harasses the players on the other team. They should, though. <laughs> Number nine is the Reds. First, they have Mr. Red. No, funny not funny. Not they funny or cool. Have Rosie Red. Who is uh, a girl. <laughs> Yeah. And Mr. Red Legs. Don't like that at all. Now it looks like I'm one of them. <laughs> Me putting myself up there, I'm, I'm, I'm a baseball now. I'm the fourth one. <laughs> oh, here he goes. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Oh, what is that? I would not have guessed that fourth one. I mean, why not? They are the Reds. Why not have a red monster as one of their mascots? Yeah, that's fine. I like how it's a whole family of mascots. Don't like the uncle, though. I want him to get the fuck out of there. And best of all, they all race. Oh, great. Yeah, th he's getting destroyed back there. The Reds have good mascots. By the way, I know what I said about baseball heads, but I was referring to Mr. Met. Mr. Met's different. He's a baseball head in my division. Oh, okay. I yeah. always liked Raymond. You would think it'd be kind of hard to make a Ray into a mascot when Rays aren't fluffy and they don't have arms or legs. But you can still tell yeah. exactly what he's supposed to be. No, you can't. You're wrong on this one. I don't know what the fuck that is. It looks like a Muppet. I like Raymond. He's one of my top ones. There's also wow. DJ Kitty. Oh, I love DJ Kitty. Oh, that rules. Yeah, nothing says Tampa Bay like a DJ cat. I love that. I love DJ cat. Oh my god. I love DJ Kitty. Holy shit. DJ Kitty is so cute. I love DJ Kitty. Why the why the rays though? That's so weird. I love him. What the heck? I'm a cat person. No! Don't play with that! No! Number seven is... Didn't do the falling chair. You see the restraint there? Use restraint. Did not do the falling chair bit. They used to have Captain Jolly Roger. Uh -huh. but I'm starting to get the feeling he might not exist anymore because people keep writing on one of my videos, Captain Jolly Roger doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> this one guy? Okay. So now their main mascot is Pirate Parrot. He's a green parrot who wears uh, lipstick, but that's not who I'm talking about lipstick. right now. Lipstick? I'm talking about the racing pierogies. It's Cheese Chester, Jalapeno Hannah, Sauerkraut Saul, the Highly Intelligent Oliver Onion, and Bacon Bird. Highly Intelligent? Yep, they're one of the best what? racing mascots in baseball. They're almost Damn, as they're good as the racing too. presidents, but not quite. Oh. Now, I admit, Screech isn't exactly the most funny and intergetic mascot, but no, ever I since he hatched so out of the egg, all he does is sort of walk around, has a birthday once in a while, yeah. wears a raincoat when it's raining, That's nice. and pajamas when it goes into extra innings, waves the gnat's <laughs> wings. <laughs> Wait, what? Wears a raincoat when it's raining, and pajamas when it goes into extra innings. When it goes late, he's like, oh, fuck, I'm sleepy. I'm not trying to watch the rest of this game. Screech is okay, but he doesn't try to do that funny things. Mm. He recently started this thing, though, where he takes his bat and walks around and hits Screech balls into the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> That's dangerous. How soft is a Screech ball? That could kill someone. What's this? Got my hands on a few of those. They still look So you're probably wondering, why did I put the gnat so high on my list? The answer is the racing presidents. They crash into each other with their giant heads. They're full oh of action. God. And everybody loves the president's racing, including me. Oh my me. god. Boom, smash, boom. I love the racing presidents. Bring the Nets to number six on my list. This kid got marketed too. Oh my god. He is a consumer. Look at him with that Teddy Roosevelt. He's the Red Sox, and we yep. all know the green monster in left field. Yep. So their mascot is a green monster. That's Wally the green monster. There's yep. also Tessie the green monster. Okay. And Righty and... <laughs> okay. Don't like that one. Wait, who am I forgetting? Oh yeah, Lefty. Wait, they're friends? <laughs> There's no way these are both mascots. Righty and Lefty are both their twins? What the fuck else are you going to do with a sock mascot? This? A green monster guy. You don't have to have socks. He looks like a steak. Green monsters and red socks. It's yep. perfect. If Aww. I were a Red Sox fan, 
Actually, no, I do not want to be a Red Sox fan, but if I were, at least my team would have good mascots. Number four is the Atlanta Braves. Replaced him with a baseball head called Homer. Like Another Homer, baseball no. the free and the brave. Oh, that's pretty good. And now recently they revealed their new mascot, Blooper. That's a Philly. And some say that he totally copied the Philly fanatic. He's just the fanatic, I don't know, he's yeah. pretty funny. Here's the he's time he asked funny. Manny Machado for his autograph. He told him to sign it right there. Okay, what did he do? <laughs> but it turned out to be a check to Blooper for $300 million. Oh, no! Blooper is rich now! Oh, how silly! Hey, it's Frozo! We also have the, the Freeze. In between innings sometimes, the Freeze races a fan from the crowd. He gets a huge head start, but the Freeze usually wins <laughs> anyway. What? <laughs> Just some guy flexing? This has nothing to do with the Braves at all. What the fuck? Can't beat the freeze. Such a good original idea. So I think stupid. I can beat the freeze, though, without the head start. And there's also... This kid is me. That's, that is absolutely... I beat his ass, bro. You know I'm going to beat the freeze. I be... This kid is me. He's literally me. That's crazy. I love this kid. Favorite promotion on the Best of the freeze. freeze rock. The fan gets a head start, and then the freeze tries to catch him. I mean, that's a significant head start. Man. Oh, my no God. Kidding. I didn't think he had a chance, but he just fetched this guy. This is another dead rising psychopath. And then down Holy again. shit. You lose, sir. Man, he wasn't even breathing heavy. Has anybody beaten him? Number three, I've got to give to the brew crew. They have a lot of mascots, but let's start with <laughs> oh. Beer Barrel Man. Other okay. people think he's kind of lame, but I think he's cool. I've I think he's cool too. I like he's it. He's very unique. Even if the Brewers just had Beer Barrel Man, I'd still I kind of like Beer Barrel them. Man, although he is kind of scary. But best of all is Bernie Brewer. He goes down this huge slide <laughs> of the stadium each time a Brewer hits a home run. Gosh. What? What the fuck? Really? Why did they build him a slide? Only for him? Only for him. Only he gets to go down the slide. Bernie Brewer. That he slide is super fucking dangerous, by the way. He goes down this huge slide above the stadium each time a Brewer hits a home run. Why? Gosh, it would be so much fun to be Bernie Brewer. I'd get to go down that slide. The only hard part would be pretending to be happy when the Brewers win. <laughs> He still got it. He still got it. That's a new one. That's a new one at the end. Number two is the Phillies and I hope you know this one. The Philly Fanatic. Oh, what the fuck? Number two? I hate this asshole. Now I hate the Phillies. But the Fanatic and I go way back. The Phillies. Is this like a bit? Harper signed in Philly. Oh, that's funny. That's fun. This kid's funny, dude. If Jerma did that, you all would be I can't and lulling. He does no, crazy I don't like stuff. Philly. He's got to be drunk. He rides around on a tractor. Do not attempt that. No. Shoots hot dogs into the crowd and Seems pours dangerous. popcorn on Mets fans. I love it all. Gotcha. Mets Die. Fans, that would be a different story. There's also the Galapagos gang. They dance. <laughs> Number one is the Astros with Orbit. He's come on. So funny. How's he funny, you ask? How? How's he not funny? Hey, hey, you wanna play Twister? Uh, hello? Uh, uh, Twister? Let's go on a safari. Whoops. Let's find some tigers. He really fell off, dude. He killed it. Oh. Person inside of that costume. I, he could have done better on this one. Wow, where does Orbit come up with all these jokes? Sometimes I wish I came up with them first, but too late, Orbit did. <laughs> and... go! Alright, free cotton candy for everybody! That is kind of funny. That is kind of funny. That's kind of funny. That's pretty good. That's not bad. Baseball kid humor? Is that like a known subgenre? Not the chair bit again. Why you did that's the third time, dude. See ya. Oh, he even does animations. Oh god! So he made the mascot video and it popped Oh wait, no. I was gonna say he made the mascot video and popped off and he kept trying to do mascot shit, but no. 
Is dude perfect Republican or Democrat? 